Ooh. Beckham and out. Beckham and out. English League midfielders. David Beckham, Lampard, Gilberto Silva. Let me make this simple. If you're not a fan of Beckham and you don't need a permanent B anchor man, this is easily skippable. I mean, technically, GP Zakaria is just fine. But just so you know what's coming next, today is 25th of November. Apparently on Thursday, Kaká, Sidorf, Ambrosini is coming. Ambrosini is very underrated in the community. And then you got Figo, Prime Baggio. I'm guessing this Baggio will be less technical, but fastest. And for the first time ever, well, we had Zanetti before on Pez, right? We never had Buffon Epic. So just so you know, these two are coming very soon too. But not to be a hype killer, that's my opinion on it. If you're not a fan of Beckham, you don't need a permanent be that. But let's check out uh, Lampard anyway. For me, Madrid Beckham is alright. But this Beckham has the highest acceleration for any Beckham card ever. Let's check the other card as well. Probably have sweaty cards to be honest. You got Jacob Ramsey. What's that card Tero was hyping about? These names. Oh, Papasar. H22. <sighs> Level 36. Box to box. All right. Let's start with uh, Frankie. I think that's a problem with Lampard. He's not that fast. He's not doesn't have high balance. He's not physically strong. Whole player. And for some reason, he always has some sort of defensive capabilities too. So for people who likes to play position, having two C um, CMF whole players, Lampard could be effective for that. And I'm not talking about he's at base level he's go high finishing, and his booster kind of sucks. His passing. Generally speaking, you'll never see these three cards apart from Gilberto Silva. You'll never see those two cards in terms of the meta. But for me, it's not always about meta. First of all, not everybody's good using meta as much as people have been using it for years and years. There's a lot of people who would like to have fun still end up top 1000 using Beckham, for instance. So I stand by what I said. If you don't need a permanent B anchorman and not a fan of Beckham, you can easily skip this one. Goes to level 36, which is pretty high, to be honest. Depends if you want to make him a defensive-minded whole player. In that case, I would just use him AMF, to be honest. But in certain systems, yeah, you could easily go with, uh, like in 4-4-2, beside your DMF, it could be a decent um, whole player. Maybe give him agility, second booster. I mean, the second booster is just one plus. It will only be effective when you have a manager that has that included in a sense. And this is technically not a full review. The packs just dropped, we're live. Just kind of an overview. I think Gilberto, all, every card was good. The most recent one lacked acceleration. That high type position make Gilberto very good. Because I think that's important for um, your DMF. I mean, some people don't care about type position for the DMF. His job is just to intercept and maybe pass it to a better passer or a better dribbler. But that's, not, that's real life football. The only football doesn't work that good. At base level, physicality is very high. Goes to level 35. I didn't keep the previous booster, Gilberto. So we can't compare it. But if you have the previous one, let me guys, let me know guys if you compared <clears throat> this Gilberto with the previous single booster one at base level. Let me know here, send it to PlayStation, tag me on Twitter, tag on YouTube comment. Let me know if you compared it. All right, start of the show. Prime Beckham H24, yeah. Goes level 32, agility booster, that, that fucking helps. <clears throat> I don't think Beckham at this age, realistically speaking, was that slow. He was at the lowest point of his life. I think this was after the World Cup, right? When he got a red card. And he went fucking won everything that season. While everybody was booing him. But what I don't like, it's still a copy-paste player model. Not that it's that important, but still. It's 2024, we're playing on PS5. Copy-paste player model from PS21, iconic moment card. 100%. Beyond that, I think this is the best Beckham card you can possibly get. I do have the Shaved Head England one, who was at Madrid. 
One thing distinctively stands out between this Beckham and the Madrid one. This one has higher acceleration, the Madrid one has higher ball control. And I think for a player who do use them on the wing, acceleration is more important. Still have AMF position. So when it comes to the review, that is my opinion, man. Straight and simple to the point, as I said at the start of it, if you're not a fan of Beckham, you don't need a permanent B anchor, man. You can skip considering what's coming next. But I also think this Beckham could be effective, not meta, because the problem is, yeah, he could easily have 90 dribbling, 90 tight position, 90 low pass, even possibly finishing. Probably get physicality at least, I don't know, 70. Speed acceleration will be 90 easily. Not easily, but with the booster helps. Um, but the body type, I think that's the problem with certain cars. The body type is terrible. I usually give Beckham special double touch just to be able to take on players on the wings. Now we got 4,000 coins. Give me early birthday gift. Here we go. I think my pack luck was okay for MSN. I got all three with like less than 70 packs. So this one will probably make me go balls deep. I hope not. I just want Beckham and out, man. It's Beckham and out. I'd like to try Lampard. I don't need Gilberto. I've got Patrick Vieira and Edmondson, which I'm quite happy with. DMF backs. What, Madrid one? You know, if I do 10 packs and I don't get an epic, I'm fine not getting a highlight. Because I feel like when you get highlights, it reduces your chances to hit an epic. And hair. Yeah. Did you get back in Romeo? I uh, surely third one. Got two thousand three hundred, nine hundred, nine hundred. That one thousand eight hundred. Yeah, we can do single ones. Silva ain't better than Edmilson. Beckham is only good for crossing. <clears throat> Lampard is a gem of pack. I disagree. This is the best Beckham card. We never had Beckham with 90 speed and acceleration. 90 speed, yeah, but 90 acceleration. Lampard could be effective for a lot of people, depending on the system they use. People who depend too much on AMF ain't gonna make, use Lampard. You might see Lampard in the first couple of days and then it will get dropped. Nobody's gonna prefer Lampard over Hoyness, Kaka, many other AMFs, no one. Especially those who really care about their ranking. If you're a type of guy who just want to get to Div 1 and have fun, sure. Lampard, yeah, could be a gem. Gilberto is not faster than Edmondson, for instance. Ooh! Beckham and out. Beckham and out. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, now on Lampard. Lampard gets 1990 speed acceleration, tight position ball control. <clears throat> yeah, I didn't say he's terrible. But I have to always mention pack value, you know? Most people only spend when they think is a player is going to be meta. Like, if I was to rate this pack for Division 1 Top 1000, I would say probably no. That's not terrible. 23 packs and we got Beckham? Now I'm getting greedy. I feel like I'm going to get Lampard too. Shall we go? Gut feeling says no. The thing is though, dude, we tested, like, I used a system where I had four edge crossers and two bullet headers. When you do a traditional crossing, a lot of time is not that effective. You're like, can hit and hope, and it looks nice. It's more of a football feeling, right? The best way to actually make crossing effective, L1 triangle in the box, or head-on L1 triangle in front of a box, head-on. One, two, L1 triangle. 
These are the two most effective ones around the box, not a traditional go and wing and cross. And this example I'm given is a perfect example of there are ways you can do it correctly and there are ways you can do it effectively. Correctly or effectively, you choose. It's more satisfying when you hit a normal cross with Beckham, but a lot of games against good opponents, yeah. You want to guarantee not to hit and hope, you got to do it in certain areas. <clears throat> I agree, Jason. I think I use 4 triple too often and it's pretty much meta right now, depending on your player choices and instructions. And of course, quick counter or long ball counter. I like a whole player beside Patrick Vieira, for instance, like a solid DMF with a whole player. But a whole player who has a little bit of a defensive capabilities. And Lampard can be perfect for that. But remember, he's physically not that strong. I mean, people a lot of time physically push Patrick Vieira with Lampard. So, I mean, with Pedri or Xavi. Oh, that would be so nice for my last 1,000 coins get a Lampard. I don't think I've ever used Lampard. But I'm happy you got Beckham. That was the target. I rarely hit my target with 25 packs, so that was good. Four year older. Right, what's the most distinctive thing you notice? There's a difference. I'm not bothered too much about 2 plus, 2, two less, 2 plus. Um... Yeah, the Beckham, the bold one has five plus more on place kicking. Three more on passing. Higher kicking power with one. Balance is higher for Manu Prime. Speed acceleration two plus, plus he's got agility, he's going to get two more plus. Everything else is pretty much the same. Don't do it. Agent 47 deserves better. With his bald head, I do agree when you Beckham is better. Yeah, Aziz. I'm a big fan of Beckham and I think finally having Beckham with 90 acceleration while still having high dribbling. I don't think it's possible to make the my new one have 90 ball control. But 90 speed acceleration, that's what I prefer. And you guys see I use this Beckham often. I think his dribbling is pretty smooth with 90 tie position. So it'll be interesting to see him how he's going to be. But if I really want special double touch on him, I have no choice to um, waste the bold one. Because the thing is, I'm in the habit of doing double touch with Beckham. So if he doesn't have it, I'm going to fail miserably. <laughs> I had to make Beckham effective for myself, even with the other cards who nobody was using. I personally feel the bald Beckham had a great body type fix and he has a big growing up Beck's player ID. It's not about the height of the status, but the balancing. Some weird balancing on my new one, but as my United one, you like it or do it fun will be speed anyway. The older 24 year old Beckham lost some Beckham player ID, the basic style. I suppose it makes sense because the bold one is kind of redone. I'm not sure if a player model is definitely redone. So when they do a player, when you do a player um, model redone, they will kind of change some sort of ID for it as well. The man new one is pretty much like copy and paste from my coding woman. So I think you're absolutely right with that. And that's the only time I'm still hesitating whether to do it or not. But for me, it's about, I don't care which one is meta. I like a Beckham one because there, as a fan, the Real Madrid one, you know, kind of a, in, a, in a sense of real life football will happen. I don't want to remember it. Yeah, we're talking about particularly about the body type. I don't think I was able to smoothly dribble with the Man U one before. Like normal, and I gave the Man United one 90 type position before. So I think Spooky is definitely right about that. The body type. But then what am I supposed to do? Like use the bold one because it's got better body type? 
<laughs> I, I wouldn't, even though that's a correct way to do it, it's about if you care about your ranking, you go with whichever is more effective. Body type player ID animation says they give grown a Beckham more animations. Yeah, I'm just worried if the Man United one is an absolute, exactly the same as the previous one, but with a higher acceleration. So I don't know. <clears throat> what I do know, I will never use the bold one. Play with them first. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not agreeing, disagreeing with any of those suggestions. But I know myself. I will not pick the be the bold Beckham, even though if he's better. I wouldn't. But. Uh, get his physicality a little bit higher um, I feel like physicality make it 70 a little bit I can also go less speed how many points does it need yeah it needs a lot of points there you'll feel the bulk control Versus the bold one. I feel that Beckham is fatter than the Madrid one. Which is ridiculous. Should be the other way around. A1X is saying 80 finishing. Yo, A1. He's a winger who's right-footed only plays on the right. And he doesn't have outside curler. So, that's why I'm not giving him finishing right now. Thank you. He does play CMF by default. I could totally use him as a CMF on the right to use him as a finisher. Well, if it isn't for finishing, then <clears throat> it will go for physicality, but can't make that orange. Either way, let's go play. Let's see how position game is going to work in the Sweaty Online event. Ah, it's good to have this number seven bacon back. See, the thing is, David Beckham is weak foot. Um, <clears throat> like, this one has almost never medium. And the bold Beckham, I think, is pretty much similar. I'm not sure. Uh, let me check quickly. 